When you're running, you increase the amount of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, in your brain. What does BDNF do exactly, and how does it affect the brain? What is it? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm going to talk about neurotrophic factors. This is a general term for proteins that maintain neuron survival, uh, stimulate neuron growth, and regulate synaptic connections between neurons. Neurons are, of course, the nerve cells in your brain. The first neurotrophin, known as nerve growth factor, or NGF, was discovered by Nobel Prize winner Rita Levi Multicini in 1951. BDNF was then first isolated from the pig brain in 1982. In humans, the BDNF protein is encoded by the BDNF gene, which is found in chromosome 11. Just as the branches of a tree grow towards sunlight, certain young neurons need access to neurotrophic factors like BDNF to survive. Neurons exist to transmit signals to other neurons. They do this via electrical or chemical synapses. However, humans are born with twice as many neurons as we actually need as an adult. Your brain selects the neurons that you use most frequently for survival. This is known as long-term potentiation. In the opposite process, known as long-term depression, neurons that are not used as frequently die off over time. Neurotrophic factors such as BDNF are used to signal to the cell body of a presynaptic neuron that its distant axon terminal has established a successful connection with a postsynaptic neuron. In other words, BDNF carries useful information to the control center, the cell body of a neuron, about the quality of its contact with another neuron. So here's what happens. Neuron one sends an excitatory signal down its axon towards neuron two. The neurotransmitter glutamate is released from the presynaptic membrane and then binds to NMDA receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. If neuron one is successful in making a connection with neuron two, BDNF is then released from the postsynaptic membrane of neuron two. It is then taken up by neuron one before traveling backwards or retrograde through the axon to finally arrive back at the cell body or control center of neuron one. That BDNF signal tells neuron one that it's doing its job. It's made a successful connection with another neuron and that it does have a reason to survive. There is a limited amount of brain-derived neurotrophic factor in the brain, so excess neurons that cannot get access to it often succumb to programmed cell death or apoptosis. Much as a young plant needs sunlight, certain neurons need access to neurotrophic factors such as BDNF to stay alive. Of all the neurotrophic factors, BDNF may be the most well-known. We're still discovering the many ways that the small protein affects your brain, particularly during aerobic exercise. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.